Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, I'm on another ride out. Uh, on our, I'm on the KTM Super Duke 1290R. <laughs> this is the Gen 3, this one. So, uh, the latest model. I uh, just had a little ride in, actually, a minute ago in road mode, but uh, straight into sport mode, really, to uh, appreciate this torque that this bike actually delivers and uh, my first impressions are yeah it's a kind of want to rip your arms off uh, bike um, it's the 75 degree v twin and will give you 177 brake horsepower this one and i think around 140 newton meters of torque which uh, you notice that that's very we'll experience a bit of that in the min in, in, uh, at the in a minute yeah <laughs> first impressions are yeah she's lively um sit there stay there bus oh he's off a bit yeah i'm actually in the market for another bike so this is a contender it's on the list so uh actually very excited about jumping on this today Quick shifter, up the box, very very smooth. We'll, te chest, we'll test the brakes, nothing behind. Front brake, whoa. It's got the four pot Stylema calipers on here, I think with the, the 320mm twin discs. We'll try the rear. Yeah, pretty good actually. We'll try both, 60 mile an hour. Very, very good. Fair bit of nose dive there, but I don't know why I'm using the clutch here, it's got the blipper. We'll see what the blip was like down the box. Very, very smooth there. So 40 mile an hour, fourth gear. She's definitely got some performance. I love this TFT uh, dash there as well. It's actually, uh, you can tilt that backwards and forwards. There's no sun glare on there at all either. Got the Bridgestone S22 tyres on here as well. Stay tuned, I'll pull over and I'll give you a walk round of the bikes. So I'm desperate to have a look around this myself. Um, just been shown the basic uh, controls there, so uh, fairly straightforward. First thing I notice is the indicator there is a bit, yeah, a bit fiddly. The actual joystick there, or the the switch rather. Slow down a bit. Expecting a little bit more of a howl from that exhaust, but. I'm pretty sure that I could stick at a stick a IR racing Austin racing pipe on, or at least a slip on anyway. Probably sound wonderful. Really nice. Really, really nice. Really, really uh, flickable. Ever so flickable. It's got the uh, the steel tubular frame, the chrome frame. Well, it's not chrome, it's obviously in the uh, KTM Orange, but it uses the engine as well as a stress member. So, uh, you can hear the air when I pull the brakes on, you can hear the air being dispersed out of those discs. Proper wheelie machine this would be. Soft cancelling indicators as well. Visibility through the mirrors is pretty good as well. Uh, Pretty, pretty nice to be fair. So it's got a whopping 177 brake horsepower. So uh, she sounds nice. She does sound nice. Like I say, Brembo style Ema calipers. So uh, no issues with the braking at all. Roads are a bit wet here actually, so I need to go a little bit easy. It's not my bike. It could be actually. It could be a contender. I like say this is uh, the same, same actually the same brake horsepower as the, the Speed RS. This one, and I've rode the Speed RS, so that's another contender. So uh, yeah, it's nice to jump on something different. I mean, this being the V twin. Not the quite the white van man, but the posty van. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's very lively. It's got the the WP Apex 48, I think, suspension on on the bike. 
fully adjustable fully fully adjustable and I must say it's not too much of a hard the seat does feel a little bit hard on the old jacksy not sure what she'd be like on a you know on a good old run out but I've only really been out on the bike for sort of I don't know 15 20 minutes so I'm just kind of gelling with the bike at the moment switch gear yeah quite a lot going on there uh, I don't think that's too overly complicated say so there yeah she's very lively imagine imagine this to be a proper wheelie machine <laughs> yeah yeah so I'm kind of in the market really so this is kind of a little bit of a, a, a new territory territory for me um, just died then when I opened the foot probably slipped on the run there it's a bit slippery the roads like I say so electronics are doing their bit got to go a little bit easy unfortunately there is yeah, there, there is a lot of damp patches got full LED lighting on this bike as well so I'll have a wander around the bike in a minute and I'll, 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 I'll run through the spec Whoa. <laughs> beautiful yeah I'm impressed I'm impressed she's certainly a contender what's that tractor doing there oh, no one in it so the thing you've got to watch around these roads is uh, farm machinery <laughs> those brakes are absolutely amazing absolutely amazing she likes to hang off nice it's actually uh, like I say you're, you're actually planted in, in the bike here you feel very uh, what's the word for it um, yeah, you're not kind of sitting on it you're sitting in it which is rather nice rather nice So yeah, this is like I say, this is the Gen 3, so it's the latest. Oh, rein it in. Yeah, it's the latest model, so. Something like this, a little uh, urine, 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 urine sample there. Piss pot. I'd have to change that. It's actually got uh, cruise control as well on here. What's the horn like? It's squitty really to be fair. Loads of shit in the roads, not the best day really. But this is the, the only sort of day where we've had dry conditions. She certainly picks up speed without any issues at all there. No matter what gear you're in really. And that, like I say, that quick shift is very, very very silky smooth oh. she sounds wonderful although she'd sound even better with a aftermarket pipe and uh, yeah beautiful we'll pull over and I'll give you a thorough walk around of the machine uh, she does want to egg you on, that's the thing with this. I see it's got the remote pre uh, remote adjusters here for the, for the suspension, compression and the rebound, well look at that. And uh, Yeah. Lovely. Just stealth my way through the village here. Not to cause any bother. That's the thing with it, I mean it's ever so quiet, uh, you know, with the, when the revs are low. Just stealthy way through the village. Not to cause any nuisance. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, if you're new to the channel or if you're an existing subscriber, you'll be aware that I'm, I'm sort of potentially in the market for another bike. So, um, yeah. And if you're new, if you're new, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Plenty more bike con content coming. What's she like to turn here? Not bad. Not bad at all. 
actually got the track uh, pack on here as well, uh, which is, I think, I'm pretty sure you have to pay extra for that. Uh, it's got the three rider modes, the street and the rain, I think, and the, the sport and obviously the track. So there's loads of tailorable, customizable settings that you can go in and adjust. I'm not going to do that today. That's probably, uh, yeah. Wonderful. Well, at least the sun's out today. It's not too cold. Relatively warm. But yeah, like I say, my first impressions are. I love this colour scheme as well. I mean, obviously, you, you know, being a KTM, you've got to buy... Uh, I think, uh, you know, this, this colour scheme, really, with all the orange. It's very lively. All she wants to do is just uh, unleash. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, contender-wise, uh, you're looking at the Speed RS by Triumph is one of the contenders. Uh, I might have another ride on, on one of those. Uh, actually, there's another uh, another Triumph 765 model out uh, very soon, I think, next year. So, uh, anyway, so I'll be interested to see what they do with them. And uh, not really going to overtake here because I know there's loads of crap in the road just up here, so... Uh, proper wheelie machine this I would say. I love the, the layout of the, uh, the the TFT there. I think it's a five inch TFT and uh, that tells you what's going on here. Look, um, it's probably customizable as well I would say. There's lots of uh, things you can do with the with the settings on this machine. But yeah like I say so far the only negative negative well a couple of negativities Oh, the seat is very hard on my jack seat. You could probably get a comfort seat for it, I don't know. Soften it off a bit. Don't want to end up with piles. <laughs> and uh, the indicator look, the indicator button there. I'm not too sure about the switch gear. Uh, on this side you've got, obviously I said before, you've got cruise control, your plus and your minus buttons there for your cruise control. That's your, your kind of uh, cursor there for your settings. So you can actually go in and change them while you're riding on the on the fly, you just close the throttle off. And uh, hazards on this side. There's actually a customizable button there, C1 and C2, I think it is. So you can customize that in the settings. So because there's nothing worse than settings reverting back to where they were, you know, if you if you want you know to set a bike up, so it's, it is annoying when they revert back to uh, the factory, you know, the, the, the settings, the original settings. So that customizable button there would be very useful. Uh, yeah, that's your clutch, hydraulic clutch on here. Clutch fluid, obviously your brake fluid there. Uh, your kill switch there and your start button. Uh, really nice, really nice to ride, or um, to be fair. Really nice. Really nice riding position. I'm not, I'm not, like, my feet are not up behind my ears. My, you know, the bars. I mean, I'm just in a good, good all round sort of riding position. And, uh, like I say, other than the seat, I could probably sit on this for quite a few hours. And, uh, enjoy. And you would enjoy. <laughs> so, uh, I've not got the bike for long, so I've got to try and um, really get as much of a feel for this as uh, possible if it's a contender in uh, my search for a new machine. She does sound like she sounds nice when you go down the box and yeah, really nice, really, really good quality, feels good quality. Very impressed so far. We'll pull in just up here and I'll have a I'll have a snout and I'll run through the specs. Six speed but yeah, gearbox on here, very silky smooth. It was very easy to find neutral when I um, Yeah. Earlier on. Come on. I'll go 
go easy here. Very, very damp roads. He says as he opens it up. <laughs> I'm on a dry patch, a dry line here. Yeah, I'll pull in just up here. Out of the way. Neutral. Very easy there to find neutral. Side stand. Ooh, just knocked it in gear then when I went to put the side stand down. Side stand down. Yeah, there's your preload adjuster there for your rear suspension and you know, your adjusters here as well on the top of the, the shocks are very easy to adjust those. Right, let's turn her off and I'll run through the full specs of the machine. Right, so here she is, <coughs> the KTM 1290 Super Duke R and that's the, like I said, the Gen 3. So yeah, the engine's 1301cc, 8 valve, and it's that 75 degree uh, v twin, so two cylinder V twin, it's the LC8 power plant, and that, yeah, I found <laughs> to be fair, I did find that, um, you know, with the torque and that, it's very, uh, yeah, it's quite quite amazing, really, to be fair. Um, yeah, 177 brake horsepower or 132 kilowatts, so yeah, same as a speed RS, uh, and 140 newton meters of torque, so uh. Yeah, loads of loads and loads of mid-range uh, torque on this one, and uh, yeah, claim top speed of a massive uh, 180 mile an hour. So I don't quite know where you'd be doing that, but there you go. And certainly not on the the British roads anyway. Gearbox, uh, yeah, six-speed gearbox with a silky smooth quick shifter and uh, slipper clutch. It's hydraulically activated or actuated uh, clutch there. It's got the Four door lubrication with three times oil pumps, so uh, yeah, wow, <laughs> yeah, that's something else. That uh, so yeah, it's claiming 189 kilos, that's a dry weight, so uh, not too bad there, really. 16 litre fuel tank, keyless, same as the ignition, so yeah, I'm not a massive lover of the key, the keyless, but there you go. Uh, and a claim consumption of 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres, or with my maths, around 50 mpg. So, uh, yeah, CI is 835 millimeters, so fairly tall, but a fairly slim, slim bike, to be fair. So no issues for me, uh, even being a shorty. Front brakes are, like I said, the two times a Brembo Stylema monoblock uh, calibers, the force pist piston calibers, readily mounted. And, uh, yeah, they're on 320 millimeter uh, twin discs there. So the stop and power, to be fair, was uh, second to none. So I'm very happy with that. Um, Rear brakes are single disc Brembo twin piston fixed caliper with a 240 millimeter single disc, like I say there. A little bit uh, disappointed with the sound of the exhaust, but I think I'd have to swap that out should I uh, decide to go for the bike. Front suspension. Let's talk about the suspension. Is the uh, yeah fully adjustable WP Apex 48, uh, which is uh, uh, giving you 125 millimeters of travel. And same suspension on the rear, but 140 millimetres of travel. And you have got that preload adjuster in there. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. The frame design is a chrome molly tubular space frame. So powder coat, but it uses the engine, basically, as, uh, like I said, as a stress member. And they're claiming uh, two kilograms lighter. So, uh, and three times stiffer, actually, as well. Hey! So, uh, massive suite of electronics including rain, street, sport, and the optional track pack and performance modes. Yeah, the 5 inch TFT, lovely there. So, also, you can adjust the, the uh, angle of that as well. And it's got the 6 axis IMU as well, the bike. So, yeah, pricing is, I think, according to the website, is about 16 and a half grand. So, uh, it's not cheap. Uh, see what sort of deal he's uh, doing on this one, but yeah. That's according to the website anyway. Some lovely colour schemes available. I think I love this is yeah very favourable. I love that exhaust under there as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely power plant in there. Like I say, the LC8 power plant in there. Uh, yeah, loads of optional extras as well. So uh, yeah, positives. You well, know, uh, the great engine setup, the quick shift from the blipper, silky smooth. I mean, the bike looks amazing as well. And uh, let you know, nice uh, selection of rider modes there. 
seat uh, not brilliant really the seat for me anyway uh, negatives that is one of the negatives uh, the sound I think the sound could be better as well you know and I think having to pay extra for that track pack so uh, yeah sports bike uh, riding position uh, kind of really I mean I thought that was okay to be fair uh, very high bike high price uh, you know to pay for, for uh, a bike well I don't know if it is nowadays but yeah but yeah all in all yeah very very impressed to be fair ready to race yeah I love all that loads of information there as well <coughs> Lot of safe full LED lighting on here. Daytime running lights, very nice indeed. Right, I think we should jump on and ride some more. What's she like to turn around here? No easy, no no issues there. You can't really feel any weight at all. Nothing. So uh, it's very easy to ride. Very very easy to ride. Not intimidating at all. Like I say, my feet are just about, well, I'm on the balls of my feet, but, whoa, a little bit of slippage there from the rear, but the roads are, nah, it's not ideal today, but, at all, but yeah, my, my first impressions are, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to put some thought into this one, uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to open it up, like I'd uh, sometimes, like I sometimes like to, due to the roads, and I know I keep saying it, but, so it's not my bike at the moment and uh well i say at the moment it's not my bike and uh i don't want to be shiny side down <laughs> if i can help it i'll go a little easy she just wants to she just wants to go you know just goes to show the, the, the electronics are doing the thing you know on the down the damp roads there by <laughs> very nice sir very nice indeed try and find a dry section of road here easier said than done I'm amazed at the brakes they really are something else now it's got ABS as well yeah, really nice So uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think? If you own one of these, have you had any trouble one? I'd be interested to know. Um, yeah, if I go right here. Uh, I, I, I should think with a, an aftermarket can on the, on the arse end of this, or even a full system, geez, and the, you know, the sound of this bike, when you open her up, would be absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> But no, 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 no. I'll see the old night time sensor. I've got a sensor there, see what it looks like in night time mode. Don't know if it, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. And to be fair, it's not bad that. Uh, if it's anything like the Triumph, say, well, it's not. I mean, sometimes when you go under the shade, shade, it, it you know, flips into the night mode, but this hasn't been doing that. But I do like that. Yeah, very nice. That look, that would look good at night. There's probably a setting in there that you could keep that that orange on there all the while as well. Like I say, I haven't really had a play around with that, with a with a display. I just wanted to get a feel for the bike. And like I say, it is my first time I've ever jumped on one of these. I'm a bit of a triumph what, triumph fanboy really. So it's very nice to jump on. Whoa, Whoa. rain it in, rain it in. Yeah. Very impressed, <coughs> and it just feels like really, really flickable. It's, it's just I don't know whether it's the geometry of the bike. I know they've changed uh, a lot, and uh, you know from the other generations. But it just seems like maybe that's what it is. They've um, completely changed the the dimensions. I don't know for sure, but I'd have to look that one up. But I'm not, I've not rode the other models either, so I can't really comment. But. I do like this, I do like this very much. Well anyway, thanks for watching today and uh, stay tuned because you never know, 
this could be in my garage or they could well there's going to be something in the garage no two ways about it but it's just what you know so thanks for watching and uh, yeah hopefully i'll see you on the next video so uh, take care see you soon